Hi guys, this is Bryony. And this is Lorraine. And today we're going to get back to one of your questions, which was... What are our top tips to lose fat? Point number one being... <laughs> what was our point number one? Fuck! Track your calories! Oh yeah, tip number one is to monitor your food intake by keeping some form of food diary, whether that's my fitness pal or you're writing it down, handwritten in your notes. Try and gauge as much of an insight into what your current nutritional habits and intake looks like. Point number two. Resistance training. And because the goal is to lose fat and not just weight, you need to train at least three times a week to make sure that what you're losing is actually body fat and not muscle. Because the more muscle you have, the that more you can body eat. Oh, no, I was gonna say what you were gonna say the same thing. <laughs> Point number three. Move God bless. Oh yeah. Point number three, to move daily. So increase your output. So you have to be realistic in what that currently looks like for you. So if you're currently in an office job, barely making 5,000 steps, maybe just start there and hit 5,000. If you're someone who's pretty active, you're around eight to 10, then maybe all you need to do is just be a little bit more intentional mm -hmm. and increase those slightly by an extra thousand and then keep it like that. You don't need to go above and beyond, but also look at your weekly average or your daily output and you can start there. Mm -hmm. Point number, what is it? Four. <laughs> Point number four. Cardio. Cardio is actually a great tool to burn more. Now, cardio has to be on top of your steps. So if you're wearing some sort of watch to track how many steps you do per day, and you actually do your cardio, which is running or incline walking, then you're gonna be like, oh my God, great, I actually walked more. But no, you just did cardio as well. So that has to be two separate things. If you do your cardio and you wanna track it, my recommendation would be to take the watch off. And that way you know that it is something that you're going to do on top of your daily movements. Why would you do cardio? If you're someone who's actually really busy, let's say you have an office job and you're not able to do 10,000 steps per day, then by just adding half an hour or even 20 minutes cardio session per day can be a great way to have that energy expenditure. So if you're not doing any cardio at the moment, you could literally start with one session of 20, 30 minutes. And that can be any sort of cardio that doesn't have to be running. If you don't like running, that could be incline walking, cross trainer, stair master, Whatever you fancy. Low intensity. Yeah. Low intensity cardio as opposed to heat training. Let's start off with the minimal effective dose and 100%. go from there. Yeah. So start with one and then you can build it up if you want to increase your energy expenditure. Plus cardio is great for your health. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number five. I fucking forget the points each time. Sleeping. That's your oh. points. You like, we have to talk about this okay, and then you okay. forget them. Number five. Sleep. Now, sleep is super crucial but often very overlooked. So we want to be making sure that you are having a sleep routine that allows you to unwind and also to make your eye. Like I'm getting wet. <laughs> okay, I'll be quick. So we want to ensure that you're hitting at least seven hours sleep, ideally between seven and eight hours, because there's so many studies that show that you can increase muscle mass and also the body composition benefits that you get from increased sleep. Mm -hmm as well as like managing cortisol and your hunger hormones. There's just numerous benefits to ensuring that you have enough sleep. Sleep is where the magic happens. happens. I don't know what point we're on. Seven? We lost the count, but oh, just say seven. seven. Point number seven. Stress management, and I can talk about this. <laughs> Such an expert. Managing your stress is so important. If you want to go more in depth in that topic, we actually shared a Q&A that was purely around how to manage stress. So you can watch this one. But just quickly, in a nutshell, stress can hinder your results. Point number eight and last one. Hydration. So we are made up of, what is it, like 90% water? Or have I just made that up? I'm anyway. probably around 40 since I don't drink water, but... <laughs> Laurie needs to take this tip. <laughs> As most of us probably do. <laughs> oh my god, please leave that in there, that's hilarious. <laughs> hydration. Anywho, the benefits of adequate hydration goes far beyond just being hydrated as to why it would be beneficial to you. Like I said, your body is made up of mostly water anyway, and it will help with not just fat loss, but a general overall well-being and cognitive function as well and it's super important that when you are training that you are staying hydrated and you're replacing those lost liquids 
and throwing in some electrolytes as well in there because mm. that will keep you hydrated. So you might be someone who actually drinks quite a lot, your body doesn't actually quite see it and you are still mm -hmm. dehydrated. So electrolytes may come into that. Yeah. But if you're someone who barely drinks water and only has like tea, coffee or alcohol, <laughs> then start with maybe just having a glass of water to kickstart your day and then top tip, carry around a water bottle with you so you've always got one on hand. Like I mm -hmm. literally always have a water bottle. It's literally there. <laughs> and for all our followers that are in a similar situation as me and who don't like water, because I tried to drink a glass of water every morning and I felt like vomiting. Did I'm you? not even kidding. Yeah, I was yeah. forcing myself to do it. I so a little water. tip, try the electrolytes that I'm about to show you here. Because <laughs> they're actually really, really nice to drink and there's zero calories per serve. So you can just have that all day long and make sure you're hydrated without suffering. Perfect. <laughs> and that's our top tips to fat loss. Boom. Boom. Boom.